This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 finished up more than 20% from its October 22 lows, officially marking the start of a bull market. The rally in stocks continued as strong economic data continues to outweigh incessant recession fears. The S&P 500 rose slightly Friday, touching the 4,300 level for the first time since August. For the week, the S&P 500 was up four-tenths of 1%. This was the Broad Markets Index's fourth straight winning week, a feat it last accomplished in August. The NASDAQ was up only slightly, but it posted its seventh straight winning week, its first streak of that length since November of 2019. And the Dow was also up a little bit, four-tenths of 1%. Now, trading was relatively quiet the past several days, with investors largely in wait-and-see mode ahead of next week's inflation data and Federal Reserve's interest rate decision. Markets are currently anticipating a more than 71% probability the central bank will pause on rate hikes at the June meeting, or what the Federal Open Mouth Committee has recently been telling us, what they're considering is a skip, not a pause. Either way, we'll know next week. Meanwhile, as the U.S. economy continues to hold up with stronger than expected jobs growth and robust consumer spending, fears of an imminent downturn are fading and many Wall Street strategists are finally changing their tune. Goldman Sachs cut its probability of a recession in the next 12 months to 25% from 35%, while Nuveen's chief investment officer recently wrote that a mild recession has likely been delayed from late 2023 to sometime in 2024. However, other bears continue to argue that the advance since October has been very narrow, and it's only the eight mega cap tech stocks that are up. You know, they continue to ignore there are plenty of industries with double digit gains that don't include any of the mega cap eight, like home builders up 48%, casinos and gaming up 43%, healthcare supply companies are up almost 40%, just to name a few. And this week, the market leader was the Russell 2000. Small Company Index up 1.9% for the week and has surged nearly 7% so far in the month. Hey, pop quiz. How many companies are there in the Russell 2000 Index? Hey, if you guessed 2000, you're right. And clearly, that's a lot more than eight mega cap tech companies. Clearly, too many investors have been misled this year by the perma bears and the way too numerous bearish Wall Street strategists waiting uncomfortably on the sidelines as the S&P 500 enters new bull market territory and other parts of the market, like small caps, surge to monthly returns most investors don't achieve in a year. Over my almost 50 years of investing, I can never recall a time when Wall Street strategists and pundits ever gave an all-clear signal when it was safe to invest. So ignore them. Ignore the noise. And invest in the market you have, not the market you want. Last I checked, as an investor, You've got to be in it to win it. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have almost 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, gold-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management, wishing you and your family a happy and healthy summer.